In this video, I will be talking about perfect squares. So when we have a quadratic expression and we factorize, we will normally get two brackets. So we have x plus a multiplied by x plus b, where a and b are numbers. However, if these two brackets are the same, then the quadratic expression is called a perfect squared. So for example, if we have x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1, if we expand this using the FOIL technique, we will get the first terms, which is x times by x, so that's x squared, the outer terms, which is x times by 1, which is plus x, the inner terms, 1 times by x, which is also plus x, and the last terms, which is 1 times by 1, which is plus 1. And we can write this as x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we say x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square. Also, the term x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 can also be written as x plus 1 squared. So the next perfect square will be x plus 2 squared, which is the same thing as x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. So using the FOIL technique to expand, we will get the first terms, which is x times by x, so we have x squared, and we have the outer terms, which is 2 times by x, which is plus 2x, the inner terms, which is 2 times by x also, so plus 2x again. And we have the last terms, which is 2 times by 2, which is plus 4. And we can also write this as x squared plus 4x plus 4. And continuing on, x plus 3 squared, which is x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. So using the FOIL technique again, we will get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, which is the same thing as x squared plus 6x plus 9. And one final example, x plus 4 squared, which is the same thing as x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 4. So using the FOIL technique again, we'll get x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 4 times 4, which is 16. And we can also write this as x squared plus 8x plus 16. So do you spot the pattern here? So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4. And we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. We have x squared plus 8x plus 16. So if you spot carefully, the number in front of the x is 2 times the number inside the bracket. So for x plus 1 squared, we have x squared plus 2, which is 1 times by 2. And for x plus 2 squared, we have x squared plus 4x, and the 4 is 2 times by 2. For x plus 3 squared, we have x squared plus 6x, and the 6 is 3 times by 2. And similarly, for x plus 4 squared, we have x squared plus 8x, which is 8 is 4 times 2. How about for the number at the end? We have the number 1, the number 4, the number 9, and the number 16. If you look carefully, number 1 is 1 squared, 4 is 2 squared, 9 is 3 squared, and 16 is 4 squared. So it's a squared of the number inside the bracket. So using this, so if we have x plus 5 squared, we will get x squared plus 2 times the number inside the bracket. So that's 2 times by 5, so we have plus 10x plus the number inside the bracket squared. So we have 5 squared, which is 25. So x plus 5 squared is x squared plus 10x plus 25, and this is also a perfect square. This also applies to negative numbers. So for example, we have x minus 1 squared. So we always have x squared, then we have plus 2 times the number inside the bracket. So we have 2 times by negative 1, which is negative 2. So we have negative 2x. Then we have plus the number inside the bracket squared. So we have negative 1 squared, which is plus 1. So note that a negative number squared 
is a positive number. So in this case, negative 1 squared is 1, which is also the same thing as 1 squared. So for the next example, we have x minus 2 squared. So we always have x squared plus 2 times the number inside the bracket. So 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. So we have negative 4x plus the number inside the bracket squared. So we have negative 2 squared, which is plus 4. So these are also perfect squares. Thank <music> you.